hello everyone i'm going to do a little tutorial to show mostly probably new knitters who might be knitting this pattern here and this is my own pattern it's um a 22 inch i'm doing at the moment which is the first size on here now when you do this pattern here this is a sleeve but if you're doing the back you would have the instructions for the um both sets of the rosebuds these both sets here and after that you would just follow those instructions for each ones that you do after that but when you come to the armholes you don't have those instructions written down you have to work it out for yourself so i'm going to show you Yeah, this is my, my pattern and we're on to the showing the sleeves down here and then it's showing you row one of pattern, row three of pattern, and then row four to eight, and then row nine, row eleven, and this was a sleeve, so you had to work these stitches out for yourself after that for the workout way to put the rosebuds um, and then it's the same when you come to do the armholes on the um the back and the sleeve sleeves and the front you have to work them out for yourself so a lot of people don't know how to find the exact place where to put them so i'm going to show you there's three different ways of finding out where you would put the rosebud on a row where you don't have the instructions for it. And I'll blow this up so you can see better. Now the first way is if you look at the you go two rosebuds down. That was the last row you did with the rosebuds. Go to the rosebuds below that because you're going to be putting the rosebuds in between those two there, this one here. So you have the two stitches here, the two holes, and there's a stitch in the very centre of those two holes. And that little hole above, that's where that centre stitch is there. So you follow that centre stitch all the way up to the needle, and that's where the centre stitch is there. So you would have to work out that centre stitch there, you have two stitches before you come to that centre stitch here. You would be knitting those two stitches together. You would be your wool forward. Bring your wool forward in front of the needle. Then you would knit this stitch. Bring your wool forward in front of the needle again. And then you would slip that stitch. Knit that stitch and pass that slip stitch over. And that's one way to find out how to, to put the... Um, the rosebud in the second way is you have these two rosebuds here now there are five stitches between so you count one two three four five and the same as how i showed you how to find that center stitch there you get the center stitch here so you'd go one two three you find that's your third stitch there and exactly the same as what I showed you from below. Go up to the needle and find your centre stitch. And then you would knit two, before you knit that centre stitch, you would knit the two stitches together. Have your wool forward, knit one, wool forward and then slip one, knit one, pass the slip stitch over there. That's the second way of doing it. And now the third way. So you go to your, your rosebud down below again and you have your two stitches here where you made the two holes and this was where you slip the stitch you knit the stitch and slip the stitch over the slip stitch over that is the end of that one there so you go follow that up to the needle and that is where where that stitch takes you to 
and that is the end of that one so you'll be starting your next one you would knit your two stitches together here your wool forward knit one your wool forward you would slip one knit one and pass the slip stitch over so that is taking it from after this you knit after you knit that stitch that comes down to where those two stitches have been knitted together so that's three easy ways to do this i hope this has been helpful to um, some people because i get quite a lot of emails where i think they're mostly new knitters that have a lot of trouble finding out where to put the um the rosebuds afterwards after they pass the part where especially on on the sleeves and then on the shaping when you're doing the um the raglans so anyway if you want to see more anytime give it a thumbs up and subscribe and i'll show you any other thing that might be helpful anytime so bye for now